my generation, you know, already, you know, we see a lot of people that are out there in the community just trying to make a difference. Kids my age, they can definitely make a global impact. There's a lot of innovative ideas that still need to be discovered. The Broadcom Master is a program of the Society for Science and the Public is so pleased to welcome 30 finalists from across the United States, where more than half of the finalists are girls this year. We used to not even think about middle school students having a voice. Today, they have a voice because they are on the cutting edge of doing extraordinary research. It's really important for kids to come to an event like this because like, you can learn so many skills and it's not only about science. When you have your team, you can really learn about communication and how to get your ideas across. This year, we're focusing on the 21st century critical skills. Creativity, collaboration, communication, and critical thinking. The projects by this class of 2019 are oriented towards social good and community leadership. They see the world in the future. They know they have to build that world, and they're going to do it. I poured my passion for my music and also my science into this project, so I'm extremely proud that I am the top 30 Broadcom Master. I feel like other people should become Broadcom Masters and not be afraid because you can put your own project out there. Whether it's a small term project that you didn't think would ever get too far, or if you think it's a problem that you really thought would be important to work on. Is it the ideas are the most important part coming up with something? Really the biggest thing is just to like find something that you like to do, like that you're interested in reading about. If you're doing something that's really interesting, then you'll want to do it far and you'll have fun doing it. I can't believe I'm among all these people who totally get what it's like to meet me. It's very nerve-wracking, but it's also very exciting to meet new people. In the team bonding experience, we use like physics and talking to each other on how to like solve problems that just involve like balls and webbings. We started with the Raspberry Pi challenge, so I found it really cool that um, each group member learned about like a different type of sensor, and then we brought our knowledge together and made a really cool program in the end. We were tasked to build a structure that would keep vials of insulin cool so that they can be shipped to people who needed them. There was a lot of communication. You had to be able to tell people what was going well or what wasn't going well or like what you thought could improve the project. We're building an ROV using PVC pipes and other materials to basically go into the water and retrieve about five milliliters of a sample. It was a lot of fun just to build with the team and it's not my greatest strength, so it was fun just like learning some new stuff about the topic. We got to go into the river and we were looking at different biodiversity in the area. For my project, I collected macroinvertebrate samples, so I got small stuff. This is actually really fun because we had some big like crabs and stuff that I'd never seen before. There was a lot of team building as well because we all worked together to help use the net in order to catch the fish. Each challenge we got better because we learned what our types of personalities were and so we were able to work better together. We are thrilled to showcase our young Broadcom Masters finalists and their talents to the public here at the University of the District of Columbia. I hope that my project will be able to, in the end, clean up microplastics from the ocean. I think that it's really sad that a lot of the kids in poor regions don't even get started in the science fair when they go to school. And I think it's really important to show them the opportunities that the science fair provides for them. I live in California a state where fresh water is very rare. I did research in order to figure out a way to bring us and the rest of the world more water. I love singing and so developing an app would be a great way to combine my research for other people to train their voices as well. I want to make people's lives better and through this I found a way to benefit a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of farmers all over the world. Public day was fun. There were a lot of like experts in the field that came over to like talk with us about a project and also like give us suggestions about how we could improve and also in the future what we could do. It's important to have a mentor because they're like your driving force. My mentor was my sixth grade teacher, Miss Pettit. She helped me get into um, doing science projects, made them fun. My mentor was my sister, Emily, who was a past Broadcom master and she really helped me refine my project and prepare me for this amazing experience. Broadcom Masters gave me a lot more confidence. I've been getting a lot more support now that people understand how important my projects that I do actually are. 
I feel like I've learned a lot and I'm excited to move forward in the scientific community and hopefully achieve something and have fun. <laughs> I'm a Broadcom Master! We're Broadcom Masters! We're Broadcom Masters! I definitely want to thank all the people in my community that helped with my project. It was so much of a community project. I'm very grateful for the award money and I'd like to put it towards college because I'd like to continue learning about science. I am extremely grateful. I just want to let the public know that preserving ecosystems can help benefit our own health as well. It makes me feel like people really appreciate my project and my research and that I can go really far with it. I want to thank all the other 29 Broadcom Masters who made me feel like I was so close to them. I've made friends for life with every single one of them. We're Broadcom Masters! Woo!